Identify false prophecies and false prophets. Part two. Another sign that I use that you can use to check if a prophecy or a prophet is speaking from God or not is to check does the prophecy makes you to fear? Does it make you to fear? Does it put fear in you instead of faith? Because in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says that God has not given us the spirit of fear. So, it says God has not given us the spirit of fear. God does not bring fear. God gives faith. So, any prophecy that tells you, that makes you, makes you to be afraid, that makes you to fear, instead of encouraging you to get strength to move forward in life, is not from God. It's false. Okay, let me give you an example. A lady went to a church and the prophet or the man of God, or so called man of God, told her that the, she is seeing death, that the lady is going to die. She's going to die. And as usual, they will tell you, ah, you need to fast, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. But do you know what that, that, that prophecy, that so called prophecy, did to that lady? If I have not come into that case, that lady will have maybe committed suicide. Or she will, because she became afraid, she became so, so afraid that she couldn't travel, she couldn't, she couldn't take, take, uh, take public transport. She was just afraid that she's going to die. Why? Because a false prophet that propagates fear, because the Spirit of God doesn't propagate fear, told her that she's going to die. So, you check it. When a man of God calls you and says, I'm going to tell you things, I make you to be, to be afraid of any human being, or afraid of life, or afraid that evil things will happen to you, just know that it's not a false prophet. It's a false prophet. Okay. The question that some people may ask is, does it mean that God doesn't, doesn't, um, doesn't reveal things, evil things that will happen to us? He do. But you should know that God reveals to redeem. God does not reveal to put you in bondage or fear. Are you following me? Because whenever the devil, when, 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 the devil, when the devil makes you to be to fear, you, start, you stop operating in faith. And we, you are expected to operate by faith because the judge shall live by faith, not by fear. So when you start living by fear, you start going down. And you, you become a prey to the devil because fear, fear opens the door for the devil to come into your life and torment you. So check it up. So when God gave, even when God sees, even when, when, when the Lord sees that a prophet, when, they, when a true prophet sees that evil is coming, there are better ways he put it. So that the prophecy will bring comfort, we bring exhortation, we bring, we bring, we bring, we bring, we boost your faith. So check it up. Be careful. Reject any prophecy. Listen to me. Reject any prophecy that any man gives to you. It doesn't matter the name, the title the man bears. Any prophecy that makes you to fear, reject it. And reject it and run away from such prophets. Or else, you will be interpreting fear and your life will be gone. I am Pastor Gavin. See you next time. Please watch out for the part 3 of this series. Identifying false prophet and false prophecy. God bless you.